And by ketchup, I mean like all the side shit. Come on, do do do. Okay. Where oh where? Why would the wound give less water? Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. What's stopping us from taking what we want? And uh... apparently that. Anyone else want to complain? I mean... We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. What you have is, appar is apparently not Their, enough. Uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. This whole, like, this is our way... She's with me. Is always Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. You may want to like change. We that. spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. Yeah, you think? That's what's kind of sounding like. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. Yeah, kind of uh, busy. You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. Ed. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And Whoa. now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. I just noticed that's a, that was a vulture behind her. Like, I saw it, but it didn't register that was a living bird. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But Someone? everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. I don't- I, I would- I would argue that you're not. I would argue that you were the only thing that making it worse. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. And ask for help. You know... So, how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. Does it, though? That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. <laughs> no. Because by saying that, you are acknowledging that life is only valuable as long as the idea survives 
Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. I can't promise anything. But if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Why do you Just care? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. I kind of want her to be deposed. Not because, like, you know, she's not nice. You're not because, Karja. You know. Or Oseram. Oh. I was born amongst the Nora. As far east as yeah, you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. Could be easier if you just, you know, cut the shit. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. I doubt you'll find anything to fix the wound there. No, you just wait. Shut up. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or we used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Maybe be a little more thankful. I know that seems like a hard concept for you. But it would not be the end of your life. If you just, you know, were a little bit more great, even the slightest help, even Machines. if it doesn't work out. healing, first of all. Like, what the fuck? Uh, when did you get there? Strike it. Oh, 
crap, 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 crap. You're getting you, getting you. I'm not giving up. Man. Can we please be done? So much bullshit. Over. You probably think it wouldn't be this bad if you just send people out to you. I think I have an idea. Up where the birds are. Those flowers. Crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. <laughs> the confidence in that yup. Bridgewater ammo will make this easier. Just that, like that whole. You can tell all that just from a little bit of gravel, can't you? I have the same energy, oh, no. like it's hard. It looks like the metal from the room. We really are following its trail, as I've been saying. The desert kills, but it also surprises. <laughs> See, it wouldn't surprise if you were, like, you know, not a pain in the ass. Well, I think we found the, uh... past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Well, we'll see, because, um, you know. There's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. Keep going, keep burning, keep burning. I will bury you. How about we don't do that, Yara?
strike, you're done. Could you pick a goddamn camera angle, please? Could you please sit still and not get my way? Okay, way too much of a problem for one corpse. All this for one body. You can go check out your, your the corpse over there while I do this, but I guess you can just, you know, follow me too. Whichever floats your boat. I do think there's like no real like 
one way or the other. I do think the AI is not ideal. You know him? That is one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... You just... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Not only that, but like, if Raka's men needed water... Lead the way. And, like, he had found a source of it, wouldn't it have been smarter for him to reveal that he had it in challenging you, not drawing it out, acting like he has no idea? Like, just, just a thought. Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means it's coming from something else. Let's have a look. These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. But maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. I think we're gonna find out in just a few minutes. Let the screen shine off carefully. Alright, what are we looking at? What the? Okay. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. Yeah. This must be the pipe that connects to Scalding Spear. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. No. Or Ignorance. Don't need to always assume it's a bad thing. Pipe. I'll find something useful. Get it. You want to like. I don't think this is going to do anything. What do you need me to do? Wait. Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. Maybe hard for her to understand, but waiting is the best thing she can do, right? Valve. That might help. Hey, it stopped leaking. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. I don't know why, but I would be like, how about we just direct it to everywhere and balance it all out? Oh. There. I bet I can use that. Okay. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Well, I guess one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Pull the lever, Aloy. Sounds like the water switched. Better open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan worked. Dramatic drop. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. 
only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Maybe you should be kind to others back. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Liara. Maybe I can head off. Well, it may be surprising, but maybe the, the desert is the only thing that needs to be that. You can be kind. We are not the desert. We are. We, you may be from it, but you're not it. Going down. I think that's like my biggest gripe with any of these groups. Not in like a game design sense, but just like in a societal one. I get it. The environment you grow up in or whatever is is rough and unforgiving. That doesn't mean you need to be. You are not your environment. A lot of these people are just like, no, we must be as tough as it. Or you don't. Just a thought. Okay, let's see if we can stop this from becoming a complete chaotic mess. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Jesse's soldiers got in the wound in the sand. But no Yara. I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Feed to solar thermal collection. Julio's. Oh. Wait, Helios? Like the Helios station? From Fallout? Okay, where the f. Oh. Don't mind me. Cutting through. Don't, just passing through. Don't mind me. You have some nerve! You're one to talk? Sound good. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Yes. Aloy! I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. Consider that a challenge. Gather your squads, then, and meet us at the Gate of the Vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me! This will be the end of the clan. Yeah. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. 
What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Yeah. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. Oh, lovely. The fighting could last for months. Those two scab heads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. That's the problem. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. Again, the impulse to, like, just bonk their fucking heads together. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. <laughs> yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. That's true. You took down the unyielding bulwark, fought off an assault of Regala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. That's a phrase I never... <laughs> Terrifying thought. Running out of body bags. Ugh. No thanks. Got two more points. Let's go with... Critical strike. Yeah. Excuse me. Where is this thing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, go fucking figure. It's near a fucking thunder... Wait, oh, shit, it's near a thunderclaw. Oh. Or that. I'm gonna be right back. Don't go away.
Okay. Sorry about that. Figured, God forbid this takes a while. Should quickly, you know, do a quick stretch. That way I'm not going to be, like, squirming to move in the middle of that. So, like I said, we're going to pop up. We'll just jump to that little campfire. Showing up there, we can just go straight up the mountain and hopefully get there first. All the dumb things, though. Oh my god. Seriously, one of them thinks the other one's a dissident. One thinks the other is being selfish. What do they have in common? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they give a shit about their people. How about you both walk away and let someone else do it then? Someone with her c command and respect. Someone with his youth. Find a common ground. I'm aware that's easier said than done. Don't worry. Oh, oh, that's all. Are you almost done? I was annoyingly impatient at your age, too. Fuck. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with a scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers, right near here, in Tanak territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. Singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name, Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Nutaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him, whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song, or at least accept a scarlet stem? It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo. If I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed. But I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Because it Why makes her I? fucking happy. That is a wholesome quest. This this is the type of quest that we need more of. <laughs> uh, is it though? Well, I, I'm gonna get to the main thing. Don't worry. I just I just want to quickly like get the stems out of the way. Scarlet stem. I need this.
Oh boy. And you're just not. Who the fuck? Oh, shit. I thought I killed both of them. I didn't realize you still lived. Rude. <laughs> I'm over here just doing my thing and all of a sudden, bam, rock to the face. Okay, one more, one more uh, Scarlet Bloom, please. Them, as they're called. This is like hella romantic and I, I can see where the whole attraction started. Finding a singing herbalist in the, in the field of flowers, like this is hella romantic and I love it. Also look at that, we're getting a softer side of Aloy. She's willing to do this. Like early game first, like early first game, Aloy would not have volunteered for that. Twenty days later, for sure. We've been like, yeah, I'm busy. Sorry, fuck off. It's growth. There we go. Okay. I do hope that he remembers her. I really do. It would be such a shame if he, like, doesn't remember her at all. Get there and say, like, yeah, sorry, now who the hell is she? Think she'll find that Nilo guy? I thought you didn't care. I don't. Not really. You care. But really, like, it makes her grandmother happy. Like, just, just shut up. There was no reason for her to be that callous. That's a Place lot of angry to knock. Draka and Yara are already here. That's not good. Oh, hello. Good one, Your Honor. How you doing? <laughs> Can we guys just wait a minute? Just, you know, let me uh, entire fucking air. Because I get the feeling I'm gonna need to. Chests that I can. <laughs> You know, politely. I mean, I shouldn't be doing a lot of things. We're not going to talk about that. But I appreciate your concern. Sweet. You're here. I mean, ah, you said to the hero of the cool roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. 
You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. Regardless. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Yeah, but we don't fixed you see? it. This is what he's wanted all along. And don't give it to It doesn't to matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Okay, first of all, even if it was sabotage, we fixed it. And by fighting, you give him what he wants. So she's playing right into his plan. Second of all, even if he didn't know, I mean, even if he does not know, just be open and honest moving forward. Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Is it? Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No. No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Both of them are being stupid. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Well, for once, we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. That needs a change. This fucking stupid. Like, <clears throat> what I can, it doesn't seem like there's a major difference. It, like, it literally just seems like which one do I do I like most? And that's why I get the feeling, like, you know. Mm. You know what? He's being... He is willing to risk, I mean, risk more people that he doesn't have. She wants to maintain things because he keeps challenging her. So she has to keep maintain order, not because of the fact that order is right, but because if we go with him, who knows what he will risk in the future. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Hey, punch him. fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. No more sneaking around. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Draka.
Come on. Oh, good dodge, good dodge. I'll, I'll let you have that. this way. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. May your blade be bright. Come on, yeah, get up. Honor and strength. Okay, I see. It will take more than that to put me down. I'm sitting here like who the fuck is hitting me? I think I can jump that fucking far. Again, drop the fighting. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Wait. Didn't need to do that. Yeah, the fact that there really is really no difference in the choice it makes it kind of annoying did it have to end like that it's the way of the desert way of the desert sucks well what happens now we live off the water the wound ekes out rationing until it fills back up and i'll make sure arrowhand gets its fair share yeah you'd better the desert never forgets and i won't either how you've helped us i mean i give this to you now for all you've done for this clan. Don't hunt down his loins, though. Like, I know the impulse is there. Be like, oh, you know, gotta punish them so they don't rise up. The, the, the more you do that, you make them martyrs. And then you, you got more problems. I just hope that she doesn't hunt down all those who fought against her. Your blade be bright. In the name of the ten. Shows a desert commander, all right. I thank you for all you've done for our people, Huntress. Yep. Hope it's worth it. Ooh. Gotta hate the warrior bows. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. God damn shit. Nice shot. Silent strike gain. Ooh. Get both of these. Let's 
strike. Oh, give me that. Yes. Silent strike heal. That is always a good skill. We always want. Okay. Blood for blood. Round hopes. No. Oh, Talana. Right. Oh, right. Fuck yeah. Not all about that. <laughs> Let's go find out what's going on with her. Completely forgot we were like, oh yeah, we'll go talk to her. Hell yeah. Yeah, okay. Do 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 Am I proud of how that all went? No, not really. Um I really think that was like the worst outcome for the two of them. Something nearby is sending that signal. Hey you I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find any booze around Talana. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before he we went through the tunnel. Mm -hmm. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Well, Amadis nice wanted me to ask around about some place called the Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners, somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but he was dead set on going. First of all, again with the naming conventions, can we stop with the scary naming? Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. Okay. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. Oh, okay. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. That voice, though. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Oh, Heard all new. about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. I was just there. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Okay. Thanks, Ra Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Thank you. Okay. I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just uh, worried about him. But no, 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 no. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Can I just go with her? Have we not been there yet? Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess we can't go there tonight. Sorry. <laughs> so close to knowing. Uh, in bloom. I was so interested too. God. So excited to find out who the hell this guy is. Nope. Gotta chase him again. This, there better be a good story behind this dude. Like, sibling, partner, 
father of a child they had together. I don't know. Just give me something. Could be her kid. I don't know. Not saying his age. All I know is, again, better be something fucking good. Actually, no, it can't be a child because we saw her, like, not even a year ago. She wasn't pregnant. That's... Nah, no, that would have came up before. Either way, like, fuck. I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the scarlet stumps. Nilo, still here. You've been called for archery practice too. Hey, how goes it? Are they really afraid of you, man? I come to speak to the herbal man. Glen Gary Gaming, thank you for the phone. <laughs> Loving the uniqueness of the name. How you doing? I wish I could the Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. Glad you have you here tonight. Hi. So I went to the hunting mm. training. <laughs> Is it Nilo? Outlander. What can I do for you? Tell me. Is your name Nilo? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to Riverham. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, no. No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try Riverham. There's a grove there, a, a memorial, a beautiful greenery. If he's there, I, I bet he'll be tending it. Thank you. Thanks again. Glad I could help. I know it's I hope not you meant. find what you're looking for in Riverham. I know it's not meant that way, but there is a love layer of like, um, creepy. In the the whole like how nice they are, and again, I know it's not meant to be like bad. I know it's not. They're just good people. I'm just used to so much sleeves. Holy, just gave that guy a fucking heart attack. She just jumped. Yeah, kind of did. Don't worry about it. Mind your business. Alright, nothing. There won't be nothing. Like, we, we can just. We can. Yeah. Yep. Am I just gonna fast travel everywhere if I can? Yes. <laughs> Again, I'm just trying to knock out all these side quests. Some of them we've been holding on to a little too long. Okay, so we started with 32.50 for a percentage. Okay. Hey, you want to improve your I should look for Nilo. Give him the Scarlet Stems. The herbalist in Plain Song said he might be near the Memorial Grove. Excuse me, coming through. Don't mind me. I'm here for one man and one man only. Nilo. Did she say Nilo? Aloy. No. I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. <laughs> I'm just glad we're all back in Riverham. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. Yeah, thanks. That's not who I was talking about. Excuse me. Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I yeah. suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. His seeds were buried here. 
where he tended the blooms of others, including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. Damn. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon River him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may, from an old friend of his. <laughs> Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Prefer to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. That's actually sad. I was hoping for like a reunification. Head back and let her know the, the sad news. Oh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. It being the bearer of bad news. Aim. Lame. Again, I was really hoping for like. Even if they don't reunite in like a lover's way, but just like acknowledge that the other one exists. Like he has so his family, she has hers, and they can reunite as friends. Or because her partner died, his partner died, they get together and raise their two families. I don't know. Something wholesome. But no, it had to be heartbreaking. Thanks a lot, Horizon. Catch a break from this heat. So I love I love this flower field. I don't know why. It's just a very nice look. The Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always love to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? Are you sure you got the right guard? Herbalist? Mm -hmm. Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. Even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. <laughs> here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. That was wholesome. Bittersweet, but wholesome. Like, it didn't need to be that way, but I'm glad it didn't get worse. 